I it's funny that that made me think about it because when I am getting into character for her, thinking about her, I do think of her as the hero. And now just sitting here, when you said that, I'm thinking about some of the things that she did or choosing, like I would spin it or I've thought about it as like her being like patient or just like kind of like letting him have, um, <clears throat> but it was manipulative really because she knew she, there, she had picked up already on things that were going on with him. Um, and so she wasn't really giving him grace or anything. Mm -hmm. She was kind of just kind of watching him to mm -hmm. see, you know, but I do, I, when I, I do see her as the hero in that. So that's, that's interesting that you yeah. said that and made me kind of question that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she is the hero of the story, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, your character is pretty honest. Yeah. If you think about. I think it was just somehow, some kind of, I think it was a little bit aloof, which is actually, I'm very aloof as a human being, man. You don't, oh, you don't want to know, like. Stuff could be going on, and I'm just like in my own head, in my head, in my space, um, and, and yeah, yeah, you know, it's just, it's just the way we're wired, man. Like everyone's different, everyone's different. Yeah.